Hello students, welcome to class. And we are on page 95, lesson number seven, Grammar Focus. Grammar Focus is learning how to use tell and ask with statements and a request. Statement sentences and request sentences. Uh, before we get into this lesson, let's look at this slide first. A formal request. And so we can say, get me the ice cream. Get me the another bowl of rice. All right. That is a request. You're asking someone to do something for you, but it's not a polite request. And so we use could and would to make formal or polite requests. Ask some. A request is when we ask someone to do something. Could and would will soften. We say will soften. It makes the request more soft and more polite. All right. So the opposite of soft is hard. Get me another bowl of rice. That is a hard request. And it's not very polite. And so if we use could, would, and please, would you get me another bowl of rice, please? Could you get me another bowl of rice, please? That is a, a more polite request. Let's look at uh, the, a statement sentence. And so we use this word a, lo a lot, especially when we're talking about uh, present simple tense. We say present simple tense is a statement. Well, what is a statement? Okay, a statement is a uh, tells us something. A statement tells us something, and uh, it just tells us a fact, something that is true. The children are playing. The sun is shining. I'm tired. I'm hungry. Okay, and so that is a statement. And so how do we know it's a statement? Because it does not start with a question word. And it cannot be answered. And so a statement is just giving information. Okay, a statement starts with a capital letter and ends with a period. How about an imperative statement or an imperative sentence? An imperative sentence gives a command. It commands, it tells someone to do something, it is not, does not ask them to do it, tells them to do it. Okay, so number one, we have an order. In order, get out. Stop doing that. Don't go that way. Do your homework. So that is in order. We're commanding someone to do something. That is a, an imperative statement. Uh, another one is request. Please ask to leave the table. Okay. Please ask to be absent. Please tell me if you're going to be absent. Please tell me if you're going to be late. Okay. It's not a question. It is not giving you information. It is telling you something to do. It's an imperative sentence. Number three, an imperative, imperative sentence can be advice. Don't eat the yellow s snow. It's not giving information. It's not asking a question, but it's telling you to do something. Don't eat that food. It's not good. Don't eat that food. You will get sick. Okay, so that's, that is giving advice, but still telling us to do something. Number four is instruction. Turn left at the junction. The junction is plow bike. And so turn left at the junction. Or uh, write down what I tell you. Record your voice and send it to me. All right, and so listen to the video many times until you can speak fluently then record your voice and send it to me 
That is an, an imperative sentence. I'm not asking you to do it. I'm not giving you information. I'm telling you to do it as you're my student and I'm your teacher. But it's an instruction. And then finally, a warning. Look out. Be careful. It's dangerous. Okay, and so look, we have a, a, a mild imperative sentence, or we have a strong, forceful command. And so if it's a mild command, we use a period at the end of the sentence. And if it's a strong command, we use an exclamation mark. All right, look at the examples. Number one, get out. An exclamation mark means we say something louder and stronger and with emotion. Number two, it ends with a period. Number three, the sentence ends with the period. Number four, the sentence ends with the period. But number five, the sentence ends with an exclamation mark. All right. Okay, one more final slide. Types of sentences. To summarize, four types of sentences. Declarative sentence. We call it a declarative. We can also call it a statement. It tells us something. It just tells us something. I have a baseball game tonight. I just finished reading the book. Okay, that's a declarative sentence. Ends with a period. Interrogative. Can you say that? Interrogative sentence. An interrogative sentence asks a question. Will you come to my game? Have you ever read this book? What time is it? It ends with a question mark. Exclamatory sentence is an exclamation. An exclamation is when we say something with emotion. We say it with feeling. We won the game. This is the best book I ever read. And so we say it with emotion. We say it stronger, usually, than the other sentences. And an exclamatory sentence ends with an exclamation mark. You see, exclaim. Exclaim is the verb. It means to say something strongly. And so exclamatory sentence, exclaim, and exclamation mark. And number four, an imperative. Imperative sentence is a command. We're telling someone, a command or a request, but we're telling someone to do something. Please come and watch me play. We're not asking, will you come and watch me play? That is a question, but it's an imperative. We're telling them, please come and watch me play. Read this amazing book. And so the imperative sentence either ends with a period if it, is, if it is a mild command or it ends with an exclamation mark if it is a strong command. All right. And so b before we get into our, our lesson, uh, I just wanted to share that with you about the four different kinds of sentences and the punctuation mark at the end of the sentence. And especially because we use the word statement a lot. Wanted to know, I wanted you to know what a statement is and how a statement uh, is different from a different kind of a sentence. All right. So. Let's take a quick break and then we will get into our grammar focus.